Cattle can change the carbon cycle and in important ways. Cattle grazing increases root growth through plants and it also reduces decomposition and respiration. And when we remove cattle from a system, grasses change over to shrubs and that affects the carbon cycle in profound ways. So one of the most interesting uh, pieces of research that's come out of Buck Island recently uh, is their work with eddy flux towers and looking at the exchange of gases between uh, ecosystems, uh, whether they have cattle on or they don't have cattle on. We're basically looking at three different factors. One is the amount of methane being generated out of that environment, which is measured by the eddy flux towers. Then we have measures uh, of, of carbon capture, essentially, that's the amount of carbon that is coming back out of the environment and being bound and sequestered into the soil. And then we have something called net, net ecosystem exchange, which is the difference between those uh, two metrics. And that is essentially the global warming potential of that land, whether it has cattle on it or not. The net ecosystem exchange actually goes negative when there's cattle on the pasture. In other words, the global warming potential of the pasture with the cattle on it is negative. That means we don't, the, the, the climatologists don't like us to say it, but it is a net cooling effect. Having those cattle on that pasture is both producing food and cooling the environment simultaneously. What's even more interesting is when you pull those cattle off of that pasture, the methane production drops slightly because you've taken the methane, the cow's methane out of the story, but that the sequestration by the environment goes away significantly. And you actually end up with a pasture that is net emitting with no cattle on it. So now not only do you not have any food being produced off of that pasture, but that pasture is now emitting more carbon, more greenhouse gas equivalents than it was when there were, no, when there were cattle on it. We have to think about this as a holistic system. We have to consider the emissions and the uptake by the land and how our management practices affect that carbon sequestration. Grazing can really change how the land takes up carbon. And in one of our studies, we put an eddy covariance tower in a grazed area and compared it to a ungrazed area. And what we found was that the ungrazed area had less of a carbon sink than the grazed area. And one of the reasons for that is that cattle are removing grass from the ecosystem. By doing that, it prevents the dead plant material from dropping to the ground and being decomposed by microbes and that reduced ecosystem respiration. Cattle grazing changes the way plants grow as well. And one of the things we've found is that in a grazed ecosystem, grasses invest much more into their roots and root biomass versus their above ground parts. And so by changing that distribution, there's more soil carbon. We know in preliminary information that carbon capture by plants is very, very efficient, but that if you want to get carbon to actually end up in the soil, then get bound up in the soils, that cattle in certain environments are a very big part of being able to keep that carbon in the soil keep it captured because it's not just about photosynthesis bringing the carbon into the plants it's about getting the carbon back down into the soil and locked up and that is what carbon sequestration is